I'm Lynn Bowie, and this is a WJZ at your desk update. The Maryland native who lost an eye in the deadly mass shooting at a country concert in Las Vegas is out of the hospital and back home. And last night, a fundraiser for Tina Frost was held in Gambrels. Her father spoke out for the first time, saying it could take a year or two for her recovery, but it's going to be a special Christmas having her home for the holidays. She will continue her care on an outpatient basis. A second little girl has died after being pulled from a house fire in northeast Baltimore. It broke out early Wednesday morning on East Cold Spring Lane. Alicia Evans and her five-year-old daughter Amani died. Now four-year-old Layla has also died after being hospitalized. The cause of that fire remains under investigation. Two law enforcement officers killed along I-270 were laid to rest. Funeral services were held for Deputy Chief State Fire Marshal Sander Cohen and FBI agent Carlos Wolf. Cohen stopped to help Wolf, who crashed in Rockville last week, and they were both hit by another vehicle and killed. The driver is cooperating with police. Celebrating the holidays with a few Ravens, Joe Flacco, Justin Tucker, and former Raven Dennis Pitta hosted the fifth annual charity holiday party. The casino-themed event allowed guests to gamble with play money along with help raise funds for the Mount Washington Pediatric Hospital. Tune into WJZ at 4, 5, 6, and 11. For constant updates, stay here, WJZ.com.